Donald Trump has a bone to pick with windmills. The windmills are killing hundreds and hundreds of eagles. One of the most beautiful, one of the most treasured birds, and they're killing them by the hundreds and nothing happens. That's right. He hates them because they kill eagles, which is weird because he usually doesn't get along with eagles. All sorts of eagles don't like him. You don't have to be right, Donald. The thing is, Donald Trump's skyscrapers kill more eagles than every windmill in the country. In 2012, Trump called wind turbines an environmental and aesthetic disaster. In 2014, he called windmills the greatest threat to golden and bald eagles. The man is obsessed. The wind is killing all of the eagles. During a speech in North Dakota, he once claimed wind farms kill over a million birds a year. They don't. According to the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, the number is somewhere closer to 234,000 birds a year. And of those birds, only about a hundred are eagles. Meanwhile, oil drilling sites kill almost a half a million birds a year, which is why Trump also strongly advocates against drilling. I am in favor of drilling. Or not. Also, buildings kill nearly 600 million birds a year. Oh, hi, little bird. Oh. And if there's one thing Trump loves, it's buildings. Every chance he gets, he slaps his name on one. If Trump really cared about eagle deaths, he would tear down a few buildings or decrease the world's cat population. They kill between 1.3 and 4 billion birds a year in the U.S. alone. So what's with this wind obsession? I know a lot about the wind. Wind is destroying a lot of problems. And number one, it's killing the birds, the birds and the eagles. In 2013, in an effort to spur the growth of wind energy, President Barack Obama gave wind farms a 30-year pass on hurting eagles. A 2016 version of the plan would allow wind farms to kill up to 4,200 eagles a year without penalty, so long as they use that 30-year window to ensure fewer eagle deaths in the future. A ruling like this shows they don't give a flying wit about the eagles, right? They only care about remaking the energy sector. Republicans jumped on the opportunity to make Obama look like an unpatriotic eagle murderer. You know, if you shoot an eagle, you kill an eagle. They want to put you in jail for five years. According to one source, Conservative think tanks and lobby groups have put money into making windmills look bad because they're direct competition to the fossil fuel industry. The kicker is, fossil fuels and their impact on climate change pose a much larger risk to eagles than wind farms. The National Audubon Society says that 314 species of birds, including eagles, could lose over 50% of their habitat ranges, thanks to climate change. Which is why Trump is doing everything he can to stop climate change. All of this with the global warming and the, that, and a lot of it's a hoax. It's a hoax. Or not. Trump might be the biggest anti-wind advocate of all because turbines threaten to become eyesores on his golf courses. But hey, he's not the first Don to hate windmills. This is your mic check.